we're showing off another top 10 of our favorite games and creations from the last week of PlayStation's Dreams on PS4 and PS5. As always, the list is in no particular order. Make sure to watch until the end and let us know in the comments which was your favorite. I have called you all here to discuss my findings on the case. Someone sitting here in this very room is the murderer. No, damn. And I am going to expose that person here tonight by using evidence to piece together what happened on the night of the murder. So let's get down to business. Sammy Seal, the Sky High Potato Murder is simply fantastic. If you'd have told me Telltale Games had put episode 1 of their newest story on Dreams, well, I wouldn't have believed you, because that would be crazy. But you know what? Sammy Seal is pretty darn close. A murder mystery you're put at the heart of playing as Sammy Seal, a detective somehow even less reputable than even Nick Bounty. There's a reference for the cool kids. The story in Sammy Seal is filled with a colourful cast of characters, plenty of twists and turns, an interrogation system, and even multiple endings, depending on who you finger as the moiderer. Between the flashy opening sequence, the stylized art of both the world and its characters, and genuinely good, witty writing, this is definitely one to check out. It took me just over 40 minutes to unravel the mystery, and Sammy Seal has quickly become one of my favorite games in all of Dreams. I was in a card game with the boss and some other guys. The boss can back me up on this. The list of suspects, I'd say it could have been anyone. Maybe everyone did it. That would be a real twist. Mayday is a platformer inspired by Media Molecule's ongoing Mega Penguin series where Dreams creators are encouraged to work together to make the individual levels of one giant game. It's very clear the creator has put a great deal of focus on both polish and presentation and the end result is a very professional experience that reminded me a lot of Media Molecule's own Mega Penguin level. Mayday expands on the original Mega Penguin template adding a redesigned scanner as well as new attacks and animations. It's easily one of the strongest levels Media Molecule's further trend has spawned and well worth following for future updates. So there I was, trapped and alone, but I had hope that the end was in sight. After all, legend spoke of this devious device as the key to uncovering the serpent I sought. The only question was, how is it to be utilized? Grip Gold is the puzzle game I've been waiting for in Dreams. Puzzling is a popular genre Dreams creators love to develop games around, but while these puzzle games are technically sound, more often than not they are just so dry. So boring. So not my cup of tea. Grip Gold manages to be both incredibly engaging and is also dripping with personality. The gameplay revolves around manipulating an ancient contraption that is a suspicious match for a PlayStation DualSense controller. You use motion controls and the controller layout in unity with the surrounding scene to solve the puzzles, but at the same time you're treated with a fun narration from the main character a sort of Lara Croft type naturalist which makes the creation more of a narrative experience and much more my speed. This is the story of Katsu, a mighty warrior. 
The villagers came to warn our Ronin. The Red Fangs have attacked a coastal village. Katsu didn't waste a second and went into battle. Ronin's Path, a pirate story, is efficiently epic. Allow me to explain. Take a fantastically told story, amazing animations and cutscenes, beautiful music, a gorgeous art style, and then wrap it all up in a simple but enjoyable game mechanic which takes advantage of all of Dream's strengths. As the title suggests, you play as a ronin, exploring a creepy forest in search of their missing wife. Now instead of creating a massive open world, the forest is represented by smartly designed tiles. As you navigate the spooky woods, you'll find tools and experience to level up your character's strength and willpower, which in turn unlock more options, fight the gang of roaming crocodile warriors, and uncover the secrets of the Dark Tale. I'm a big fan of creations in dreams that work smarter rather than harder, and the infinite styles points Ronin's Path has also earned helps pull it up to a whole nother level. Peak Speed is a 2D rendered racing game designed to emulate the old school cool 8-bit and 16-bit eras of the yesteryears. I haven't played a game like this in quite some time, and it was a hell of a nostalgia trip. Dodge and weave your way through the unusual amount of traffic and race your way to the top of the online scoreboard in retro glory. Gaiahawk is a fast-paced arcade shooter. You're going to have to use all the tools at your disposal to make it through the five stages. There's the usual laser guns and bombs, but also a pretty nifty bullet time ability you'll need in order to ninja your way through the constant barrage of enemy fire. It's got super tight controls, three difficulty stages, and it is super addictive. One you might end up playing for some time. Sunshine State is the latest track in the ever expanding Metro Street Racer series. If you're a regular watcher of our Dreams Top 10s, you'll know the score by now. Tight racing controls, a beautiful environment to race around, based on an American city, and garnished by all the delicious trappings of modern racing games, such as alternate camera views and a handy dandy photo mode. As a whole, Metro Street Racer tracks have now entered double digits, it's become one of Dream's largest complete experiences and the creators definitely deserve some love. Crystal Crisis is a dungeon crawler made using Media Molecule's Ancient Dangers, a Bat's Tale template. Dream's first story expansion gives you all you need to make your own action-adventure game, including a ready-made combat system, which is put to good use here. Batter your way through the golems and uncover all of the secret treasures in this breezy adventure. Yeah! Yeah. 
Iso Marble is a painfully tricky marble game that sees you very carefully navigating around a series of difficult tracks trying to get the best time before your constant failure and irritation drives you madder than a box of frogs. Last but not least, we have Lost Palace, a walking simulator with some gorgeous looking environments that give off some big Uncharted 4 vibes. Use your hand painted map to navigate through the scenes, get your Nathan Drake on just a little bit and make it home safe and sound. Remember to let us know which of these creations was your favourite in the comments below and maybe give the video a like while you're down there. If you want to see more of the top games and creations from Dreams PS4 and PS5, remember to subscribe to Ugly Sofa Gaming and hit the bell to receive notifications. We post new videos every week. Ugly Sofa Gaming is now also on Patreon. If you like our Dreams content and you want to help support the channel, check out the link in either the video description or the comments below.